was the first Dem debate of the new year, and let's just say I'm not sure if they're friends anymore. I'm Candace Smollett, and this is your weekly recap. The seventh Dem debate took place on Tuesday in Iowa, and it was as white as the Oscar nominations. Cory Booker dropped out of the race, causing many to sigh eye the DNC, wondering if their qualifications for the debate were a little too tough on candidates of color. The six candidates that qualified were Sanders, Warren, Biden, Klobuchar, Buttigieg, and Steyer. CNN wasted no time being messy, asking Sanders why did he tell Warren a woman can't be president, something that Sanders adamantly denies. Take a look at this clip. Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. <laughs> Warren, who obviously disagrees with that, said that one, women can do better, and two. The only people on this stage who have won every single election that they've been in are the women, Amy so and me. Tom Steyer let everyone know that climate change is his number one priority, especially when it comes to black and brown communities. Bernie Sanders made the argument for why Medicare for All is worth the hefty price tag. And you know what? No one's talking about how much these wars are gonna cost. Meanwhile, Buttigieg was asked to address the black elephant in the room and why he has yet to secure the black vote. Is it possible that black voters have gotten to know you and have simply decided to choose another candidate? The black voters who know me best are supporting me. It's why I have the most support in South Bend. It's why among elected black officials in my community who have gotten into this race, by far most of them are supporting me. And Biden boasted his support with black voters. I have overwhelming support from the African-American community, overwhelming, more than everybody else in this operation. Biden said, period. But I don't know, y'all. Do you think Biden has our vote like that? That's a wrap for this week. Do you think anyone won the debate last night? Let us know. I'm Candace Mallett, Senior Political Editor for Blavity Politics, and see you next week.